Hey guys, welcome back to the Cold Classic Kids show, and today we're talking about Konami as they attempt to make a serious return to the gaming industry. And let's just go over how they left, just to remind everyone. In 2018, they dropped Metal Gear Survive. And oh my god, I remember playing the demo for that game. It was either a demo or a beta or something. And I can only play it for like five minutes before. I was just like, this is, this is an absolute joke. And it's hilarious because they put out demos for the two last major releases that they put out, which is like Metal Gear Survive and Contra Rogue Corps. And I tried them both just because it's Konami. And wow, both of them were hot steaming piles of shit. They should have been shamed themselves for even doing it. So they left on that note. But now they're trying to make a serious return. And honestly, I've said it already on Twitter. I don't trust Konami with their own intellectual properties. I really don't. They have uh, no reason to have earned any of our trust, especially with how they just recently released their eFootball game. That, uh, that definitely didn't go over well with anybody. Let's be real now. Absolute abomination faces on the characters uh they're horrified to even be in a konami game it's, just, <laughs> it's so bad I'm just looking at these pictures <laughs> look at the fans they look like the walking dead <laughs> oh my god but yeah the rumor mill is out for all of konami's greatest uh ips and that would be silent hill castlevania and metal gear and I'll start with the game. The series, I think, is the most in trouble from these rumors, and that is Castlevania. So the rumor's out saying that they're planning a reimagining of Castlevania, and it's head by Konami Japan in development, but they're getting help from external partners. I don't know. I guess the external partners are there just for when Konami just tries to be modern Konami just to give them a good slap on the wrist every time they try to do something stupid, try to add those microtransactions. No, don't do that, Konami. Stop it. Stop it. You got one shot at this. What? What is this pachinko machine doing here? What? What is this casino? What? This is not Castlevania. What the hell are you guys doing? <laughs> drag out the freaking pachinko machines in Castlevania. <laughs> yeah, that... that Oh my gosh, it's like um, it's like probably babysitting. Second IP on the list is Metal Gear Solid, and the rumor is out that they're remaking Metal Gear Solid Three, and it's in development by an external Chinese studio. And not only just that, apparently they're planning to do remasters and re-releases in general of the Metal Gear Solid series. I guess I guess they're remaking Metal Gear Solid Three because I constantly hear that that one in particular is. The most beloved so you know can't do it in order but you know the way that makes the most sense no we, we got to go after the money in the most you know uh, the most striking way possible let's just go after the most popular game first take all the money from that <laughs> like we can't even we can't afford to wait i mean we, we tried to go into the casino business with pachinko machines and that's a huge failure we got we got to make that recoup asap so hey uh yeah that's Metal Gear Solid, and then lastly, the one that sounds probably like it's in good hands, if true, and it's been a rumor that's going around, uh, that's been going around for a long time now, and that's the fact that uh, Kojima's working on Silent Hill, and Sony's not only funding but overseeing the project. I mean, that's that's something that's been out for a while. At this point, it's probably true. I mean, how many times can this information come out? And it not be not be real, even Kojima with the the Death Stranding PS5 release hinting at some horror vibes there. So seems like he really wants to dive into horror. And with how successful and how beloved PT is, I don't blame him. I mean, people have wanted PT Silent Hills for so long, and now maybe hopefully. In the near future, those people will get it. But yeah, uh, the only reason why I think that there's 
hope for Silent Hill is the fact that Konami isn't even involved in it. But honestly, I don't think it's all bad. A game that Konami is making, is developing and publishing that I'm personally interested in is a game called Getsu Fumadin. And apparently it's a remake from a game released exclusively in Japan back in 1987. The full name of the remake is Getsu Fumadin Underlying Moon. And honestly, I'm so interested in this game just on the art style alone. It has like this traditional Japanese style and it's a hack and slash roguelike game. And I, I am in love with the look of it. I really... I'm pulling for Konami with that one, I'm not going to lie. When I first saw that game, when they first announced it, I couldn't help myself. They they won me over instantly. I didn't see their name on it. When I found out it was Konami, I was like, oh shit. But that game looks insane. It really does. Um, It's somewhere in the vein of like a Castlevania or traditional Castlevania, so... Hey man, that's a game I'm interested in that Konami's working on. Hopefully it doesn't end up looking like a uh, eFootball <laughs> or like a Japanese artistic eFootball. Can only hope. But hey, that goes to show that maybe not all hope is lost. I can't really say, but as of right now, I have little faith in Konami. They really have to prove themselves or just uh outsource their IPs to people who actually know what they're doing. But hey, it's just two cents for me. If you can, like this video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, follow me over on Twitter if you want to continue the conversation. And with all that being said, guys, I'm out. Peace.